Hey, Jesse, how you doing today? It's all, been a while. All is well, Ronnie. How are you? I'm I'm doing well. Good. I, uh, I wanted yeah, I wanted to call in and answer the the biblical question. So when the blacks tell me that I'm going against my own people, what do they mean, my own people? So when they say that, they are referring to you being black. And, and how does that make me my uh, make them my own people? Gotcha. So and it's it's a biblical question. So I'll bring up the story of Moses, how he was born as a Hebrew slave, but his mother put him in the river and he ended up being raised as an Egyptian prince. When he found out that he was really a Hebrew slave, he could have easily said, uh-uh, I ain't no Hebrew slave. I'm, I'm a prince. But he didn't do that. He actually went back and joined his people and fought for his people and led his people. You have done the exact opposite. And so how does being black make all black people my own people? By being black. It's, how does that simple. make me? They're my people, though. That's just a color. They're, how is that my people? I wouldn't say it's just a color. Obviously, if we weren't robbed of our land, we would be able to trace our roots back to specific parts of Africa instead of just Africa. What land were you but robbed some, of? Some part of? Some part of you, somebody in your family, predominantly, most people in your family, would trace back to Africa. Otherwise, you wouldn't be black. And so... What part of you, and I want to ask you about trace back to Africa and all that crap, but what okay. part of, what land did they, white people take from you? Not from me. I was born here in 1987, so. From the blacks. What land did the white people take from the blacks? I didn't say they took land from them. I said they took them from their land across the Atlantic Ocean. And when did, and the, when, when did the whites take the blacks from across the ocean? 1619 is when they landed here. So well, it was they, early 1600s. Is that when the uh, blacks in Africa sold the blacks to the Arabs and the Arabs took them and to the rest of the world, sold them to the rest of the world? Yeah, probably. So why aren't you people saying the Arabs did it? Why keep blaming the whites? Well, that doesn't have anything to do with your people. I don't know if you, I thought you wanted to talk about why these are your people. I know, people. but you brought, the up the thing about, to... you, you brought up the thing about they were taken away from the land. And then you yeah, said that's where we came from. I don't know who necessarily sold who, where, and what part of you, if your family was sold by what group or what part of my family was sold by what group. But at the end of the day, that's where we came from. But how would that make all blacks my people if it's true we came from land, from our Africa? What do you mean if it's true? What other part of the world? Well, I didn't come from <laughs> Africa. I came from Alabama. Alabama, Correct, USA. Yeah. But my yeah. my question is, let's say that all those blacks came from Af Africa. They found out down the road somewhere that they came from Africa. How would that make all black people my people? Based on the fact that you all came from the same place. How would that make them my so people? Though? And that doesn't make sense. In Africa, they, uh, they uh, quote unquote, rich blacks sold the poor blacks and used them as money and everything else. Why did y'all people treat y'all other people that way? I don't know. You'll have to ask them but, why they did that. But that's what you guys should be complaining about if you're going to have complaints. Look at the way you were treated in Africa by your own people. And even today, the Arabs are enslaving black people in Africa. Africa are enslaving other black people. Why are you people mad about that? So I'm not really angry about any of it. Right. <laughs> I think that I was letting you know that if you were black and I'm black, chances are extremely high. <laughs> does it make sense? We have ancestors that, that, that work side by side at that, some point. Does it make sense that um, I'm not blood related to most black people. I'm only blood related to my, my family. And then, uh, does that make sense that they're claiming that all black people are the same? Uh, uh, my people, does that make sense to you? Uh, just in the sense of the context that all black people are usually grouped together. And not all, not all, but most. Most black people are usually grouped together, even though they're not related, even though I don't know many of them. You've uh, even already attempted to ask me how come I'm not angry about that because other black people are angry as if because I'm black, I'm supposed to be angry with them. So you can't really have it both ways to where 
for somebody like me, I'm supposed to see myself as a part of that whole group, but you're allowed to isolate yourself. I've never been associated as all my people. That's something new. It wasn't like that before the civil rights movement. Uh, when I was growing up, black people identified with anyone who were of character, and it never mind the color. It never was known as my people, all my people. And then once you're born of God, your people are your brothers and sisters who have been truly born of God. That's your spiritual family and your blood family are those that in your family you were born of the same blood. So when you so, so does it make sense to you, you, even though you say you don't identify as that, I believe, does it make sense to you that the blacks are identifying like that because of their color? Yes, because statistically we are grouped that way, it's even in America. If I were to kill you or you were to kill me, they would call it a black on black crime because we're both black. Right. So you can't deny that you're not black. You can't deny you can't deny the fact that you're black. Dude. So if black people see all black people as their people, why do they kick out the blacks who don't agree with them? Like Clarence Thomas and uh uh myself, Walter Williams and all those. The blacks don't they throw them they don't identify with them as blacks, and they don't want them identifying with them as blacks. Why do they kick out the decent blacks? So initially, and I know you spoke yesterday a lot about cause and effect. So if a black person comes out and is expressing the fact that they don't really want to be part of the community, and they also do things that go against the community, you've already made yourself no longer part of the community. So for the community to not recognize you as part of it, that's your fault, not the community. But Clarence Thomas or anyone I've heard say that they didn't want to be a part of the community, just that they become decent, upright men and women. They are kicked out by the rest of the blacks. The blacks get rid of their other black brothers and sisters who don't go along with the crap. Again, usually what happens is somebody says something or they do, or they do something, especially if it's something political, and that ends up the getting blacks, them pushed out. The, the it's not the black are, people just saying, all right, let's 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 throw a dart at a dartboard. Oh, today it landed on Clarence Thomas, so we're kicking him out today. That's they not do how do that. They don't throw out the Clarence. bad blacks. They only throw out the ones who stand up for righteousness. Uh, if you want to call what Clarence Thomas did righteousness, that's up to you. That's your opinion. You're allowed to think that way. It's not my opinion. But it's true. Black, it's not a fact. That's what you said was subjective, and I don't agree. No, with it was the, a there, fact there that, that Clarence, Clarence Thomas stood up for good, and he still stands for good. That's a fact. I disagree. Why? Not he supported, Why do you he disagree? Because he supported policies and he's written opinions that don't have the best interest in mind of the black community. Are you, and regardless, are you able to think of one? Re- I, wanted to, I wanted to finish my point on that. So regardless, even if he did that, at the end of the day, if he were to kill me or I were to kill him, it's a black-on-black crime. So he's still somebody that is, even though he doesn't want to be, he's somebody that's considered my brother and my people. What? It's not that it's not a hard concept to understand, Jesse. I understand you said you might even not if want he doesn't want, you say even if he doesn't want to be a part of the blacks, he's still your people. Yes, because and that's I'm not talking about just from my perspective. I'm talking about from the perspective of the country. If he were to kill me or I were to kill him, it would be black on black crime. Is that is that wrong? No, black on black crime is when those blacks going into their own neighborhoods and killing one another like they did in Chicago. If if you, God forbid, if you killed him or he killed you, it will be Ronnie killing Clarence or Clarence killing Ronnie. The blacks Incorrect. are the only it one calling it. Black on black the blacks are the only one calling it uh, 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 whatever. They, I don't know. It's so crazy. I can't keep it. With you. What do you say, Joel? Joel, I want to say something. Okay. That's, so, that's so backwards, though. Uh, Ronnie is because... The blacks only want to throw out and call coons and all that stuff to to people who um, speak against the black community or speak the truth or whatever. But how come they don't throw they don't throw out the blacks and just own the blacks that kill and right. murder their own family members or the other black people who you know they murder their family members and black on black crime and all that stuff? They get to keep them. To no, represent so them. Usually- no, so usually the people, especially in the city of Chicago, where the gang violence is in- incredibly high, if somebody's a part of a gang, it's because they're no longer truly part of the black community. Because in the black community, we don't do our sons like that. 
But when these kids aren't receiving that love, whether it's the father's fault, the mother's fault, whatever, that's and not they true, join though. the game, right, that's not they're true. no longer the, the black yeah. stick. To, is, they, they like to stick together right. and call each other, you know, our people. Look at all the black people that are rioting in this whole, uh, whatever this guy with the with the cop with the neck on the, the whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it, all those people rioting right there um, on the street, um, you can... There's no way that all of them right there are. Um, uh, they all agree, agree with each other, and they don't even like one another. Decent people. So, so, so that's and then so that's the in thing. Chicago even, even this weekend they had black on black crime out of control. Ten people killed, according to the report. Mm-hmm. Forty people wounded by other black people. No, mm-hmm. no, nothing. Just quiet. It only happens when a white person is doing it to a black person. It doesn't happen any other time, and that makes sense to you. Yes, because of this very reason, if you'll let me explain it before you interrupt me, I'll tell you why it makes sense. And it's two different things. The people rioting in Minneapolis and in Los Angeles, they're not killing each other. They're rioting. So they obviously agree because the people aren't murdering each other. They're just working together to steal shit, which is stupid. But they don't. They obviously aren't killing each other. The gang members in Chicago are killing each other because they don't see each other as a collective group. But so they still, they and they still... also are not. Sworn so why don't to uphold you people fight? Why don't you people fight against that? If you love one black man that's been wounded by a cop, you got to burn and riot like that. Why don't you people love the ten black people who were killed and the forty who were wounded and go riot over there? But so let me ask you two uh, questions. It, well, let me say one thing and then ask you a question. The, uh, the gangs are not sworn to uphold the law. The policemen are. And the policemen's salary is paid for by tax dollars. Well, so then I'm why don't you tell for- the black people when they are stopped by the cop they need to f- follow the orders of the cops instead of resisting? So I'm going to try to finish What do you point. think the cop so going to do if you're going to resist? The blacks are intentionally fighting the cops. Does that make sense? I'm going to try to try to finish my point. Does that make sense, Ronnie? I'm going to try to finish my point because I'm right. not sure what question you just asked me because I was in the middle of a point. <laughs> Gangs are not sworn to uphold the law. They don't receive my tax dollars. So I can't expect them to act like normal human beings, especially cops. Holding gangs and cops to the same standard is stupid. But if people did riot in Chicago over the murders, would you support those riots or would you be speaking out against them? If if Go ahead, Joe. Uh, okay, but Ronnie, real, real quick, Ronnie, is that— if, you, I just you, want somebody to answer my question real, real quick. If if people started rioting because of the murders in Chicago, would y'all support those riots, or would you still be against them? If people are rioting against their own people for doing wrong? If people are rioting in Chicago the way they're rioting in Minneapolis and Los Angeles right now, and the cause wasn't a police officer, but it was gang violence, would y'all be okay with those riots, or would those riots uh, be no, bad and stupid? Not if it's riots. You know, riots, that, that's, to me, that seems improper to, to I mean, it is improper, not even just to me, to burn Agreed. stuff up and, and steal and do all that stuff. That's just silly. But protest or Agreed. whatever the case is for what is, especially against Black on black crime, yeah, I would support it. If 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 the blacks were to go over to any major city, especially Chicago, and they were rioting because of the black on black uh, crime, and they were trying to get the blacks to stop it, and insisting that they the cops do their job and arrest these blacks, I would be for it because that was soon in. And so, yes, I'll be for it if they did it to stop black crime, black on black crime. Are you saying that black is stupid to hold blacks to um, any standard? That's a stupid idea, Ronnie? No, 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 not at all. I said it's stupid to hold gangs and gang members and gang bangers Why is that to stupid? the same standard that we hold police officers who Why are Why is that sworn? stupid? Because gang members don't receive my tax dollars. They don't go through a training process. I got to run, man. I'm sorry for the break, huh? They tell me I got to go. Thank you, Ronnie. Back in a moment. So just for uh, Ronnie's sake, if nobody else, but for all people, um, gang gangs receive um, all kind of tax dollars, major tax dollars. Just think about it. They get all types of programs. Their mothers get tax dollars, and most of their mothers don't work. They uh, uh, and they uh, 
Remember, I was trying to think of this uh, basketball. One day, get like midnight basketball and all that kind of crap. And the mamas get free food stamps and and all that kind of stuff. And protest is not going to make anyone moral. You have a right to free speech. You have a right to protest, but in the right way. You don't have a right to burn down and destroy other people's stuff. Because over there in Minneapolis, wherever they're doing this crap right now, in Los Angeles, those people are not burning down and destroying their stuff. They have nothing. They're too busy burning down and destroying other people's stuff, their homes and their businesses. And they don't care. They go right back to the ghetto and sit around and wait until they are bought, um, rent it out for another event. Rent or black when you want destruction. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.